Welcome back. The Maasai Mara is one of the world's most famous and rare wildlife reserves. Tourists from around the world have flocked to see the roaming lions, the zebras, the giraffes and the wildebeest. It has made the Maasai Mara a principal source of Kenya's foreign revenue. But the tourists are staying away and so is their money. Frightened off by the violence and the turmoil which followed the country's disputed presidential election in December. As our East Africa correspondent Adam Minot now reports, the loss of income threatens one of the wildlife wonders of the world. The Maasai Mara and its temperamental residents. They offer the holiday experience of a lifetime. This is nature in the raw. From the relative safety of a car, the day-to-day -day struggle for survival in this vast African wilderness is played out just a few feet away. All that's missing are the holidaymakers, whose dollars support this fragile ecosystem. They have all but disappeared, frightened away by post-election violence in Kenya. Their absence now threatens the Mara's future and all who depend on it. Maasai herdsmen graze their animals on the margins of the reserve. They lose some cows to lions and other predators and are compensated by tourist income going to the Mara Conservancy. But that money has dried up and the Maasai attempted to start killing lions again. No guests coming to the village, so we're not getting money and no money from Conservancy. I think it will make people run out of patience. A holiday in the Maasai Mara is expensive, but much of that money is needed for the upkeep of the reserve and to safeguard the wildlife. There is Bojas. Who comes here? It pays for rangers engaged in a constant battle against poachers who kill hundreds of animals every year. And the less tourist income coming in means the greater the impact on the conservancy. The fewer patrols they can send out looking for poachers, and that means inevitably a loss of wildlife and damage to the ecosystem here in the Mara. So, Benton, how, how do the, um, the poachers use these? Wire snares set in the bush are a constant threat. Dozens are recovered by rangers every week. So the, the leg gets caught in? Yeah, they, they, use, they, they have many tactics. They put and then they cut the legs. They put and then they cut the necks. They put even, yes, let us say, you put, they cut the horns. Yeah, yeah the many tactics, how they put the snares. Game reserves are the jewels in Kenya's crown. Every lost tourist dollar puts a question mark against the future of some of the world's most wild and beautiful places. Adam Minot, BBC News, in the Masai Mara.